I'm now 9.46. Every parent's worst nightmare would, of course, be the death of a child, and everyone copes very differently. Benji Bennett's four-year-old son, Adam, died suddenly from a brain tumour in 2007, but the tragedy inspired him to begin writing books for children dedicated to the memory of his son. And Benji joins us now, along with Adam's brother, Harry. And uh, Harry, if I, you're the star of one of the books that's been written. Um, we've got a, a picture of it here, you and your brother, uh, Adam going into space together. Is that, is that a nice idea for you? Um, idea? Yeah, I think so. It's nice. Well, I like the way I'm in the stories. When your dad writes these books and puts you and Adam into it together, are these because you've said you've thought it'd be nice to go on an adventure with Adam, or is it um, is your dad who dreams up the plots? I think it's my dad dreams up the plots. Yeah. And then do you sometimes find yourself thinking about them? Um, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> and uh, who takes the lead in these plots? Is it you? Because you were the older brother, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, so are you the leader and Adam follows, or is it...? Um, Adam f uh, is the leader, so... Ah, OK, well, it might not have been like that in real life, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> ben, do you just go, take people through the story of what happened to Adam? Yeah, uh, we were on holidays um, in, in a mobile home we have in Brita Spain, and Adam just started vomiting, and uh, four days later he was still vomiting, and we brought him to hospital to get him rehydrated, because we just thought he had a very bad tummy bug. Uh, within a half an hour from being admitted to hospital he had a seizure and collapsed and that pretty much we, we lost him pretty much there and then he went into a coma and a scan later revealed that he had a massive brain tumour that we didn't know anything about they operated on him later on that night and then the following morning at six o'clock we you know we lost him and a uh, huge shock we just didn't know what was happening I know you've said uh, and it's written really into the beginning of all your books um, that the moral or the, perhaps the purpose of writing these mm. books is that sense um, that it's so important that a parent always tells their children they love them because they never know what's going to happen next and you, they, the dedication at the beginning says the most important thing in life is this uh, show your love for your family with a hug and a kiss mm -hmm. and there's uh, the picture of, of Adam there um, were you fortunate enough to be one of those parents? Yeah, I think I was, I was very, very lucky. Um, I suppose a lot of it has come from my wife as well. She's a great one for, for keeping me on the straight and narrow when I was in the corporate world and busy. Uh, so she has a lot of credit. But I was very, very lucky that, you know, any time he, he, he asked for a game of football, I played with him. Any time, you know, he wanted to do something, I never said I'm too tired or whatever. That's, that's one side of it. And of course, you know, at night time before bed, it was always, I love you so much, like every single night. So, so when we lost him, I, 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 I knew that I was going to be okay because Adam was a very special boy. We loved him and he, I think he was here for a special little reason. So hopefully lots of other children will, will have the experience of being told they're loved through the books. Yeah, I'm just wondering, and Benji and Harry as well, for a lot of people I know who, who lose children very young, one of the things they're, they're really trying hard to do is keep the memory alive, mm. you know, and, and they, you do it in different ways. People sometimes have boxes full of things, don't they? They're yeah. Sort of memory boxes and stuff. And I guess this, this is a very real way for you to do that. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, every time an illustration comes in and you see another picture of, of Adam, well, it's something he never did before. So he's flying a spaceship and he's with his brother Harry. And then the new one, there's a lovely scene that just came in with all of, uh, you know, there's Molly, Harry, Robbie and Adam, all four of them are pirates looking for treasure. So it's the first time I've actually seen all of them playing together through an illustration. So it's lovely that way that Adam is still uh, playing with his, with his brothers and sisters and he's still making lots of friends by people who read the books because the feedback has been wonderful both from parents and children. They just love it. Harry, you were, I think, six, weren't you, when Adam died and yeah. he was four. Do you remember him? I mean, it's, uh, it's very hard to, to remember when you were young, isn't it? Um, from pictures, kind yeah. of. Do you have any little memories of um, little things you used to do together and yeah, things? Yeah, there was this one time at Easter when uh, he found an um, uh, Easter egg under the, um, our caravan and uh, he said, I found this for you, Harry. Oh, isn't that a nice thing? Yeah. What a lovely memory to have. Well, you've got other beautiful memories in, the, in this um, series of books. Which one's your favourite? Um, probably that one. The one about Christmas? Yeah. Yes. Well, look, a big thank you, Harry. Thank you very much mm. for coming. Benji, thank you. Very I could see sometimes there must be moments uh, when, you know, you talk about hearing <laughs> Harry talk like that. It must be hard yeah. sometimes. That's a particularly hard one. So, mm. uh, 
Yeah, you just, you know, it's always there. It's always right. And, and you, like, we all have new life's lenses on. We see everything differently now. And we just appreciate every single moment that we have. We did before, but now it's, 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 it's really there. So, uh, so it's always just underneath the surface. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming today. Thank you so much. And Harry, who is uh, definitely the BBC's new signing, I think as far as <laughs> presenters are concerned. <laughs> nice Lovely to, to have you in with us. Time now, 9.51.